Namaste. Hi. I probably have taught thousands of classes and then even more hours training myself, practicing, and then training other teachers too. But you know what? Until today, I still rehearse my classes. I have to feel it so that I am confident that what I teach benefit my students. And then today is no different. A simple sukhasana sequence, which I've done many times over and over again, since I'm adding a component to that sequence, I still have to rehearse them. So let me share with you yeah, my plan. Okay. So crossing the legs. Yeah. Either leg is on top. Good. And I've given a number of tutorials about the details of the Sukhasana. Yeah, so have a look at them if you have the free time. But in a nutshell, yeah, we're crossing our shins. Yeah, and then moving the fleshy part of uh, the legs out of the way. So you <laughs> don't put pressure on them. And here you can stretch your feet and by using the hands. Yeah, you can point and flex them and then circle around here. Yeah, just to organically align the hips again. And then breathing through it. Inhale as you shift forward and exhale as you curl backwards. Yeah. You can also wave your spine like coiling circles within you and rivers. Uh, you may also change the breathing pattern. Yeah, as you inhale, you may lightly lift off the legs, exhale, away on them. And reverse again. Yeah. Once a particular flow becomes heavy or rigid and restless, change. Yeah. And of course, you breathe. All right, so keeping your legs crossed, arms are lifting over the head, inhaling like a long line, spreading the fingers like the rays of the sun, stretching your palms. As you exhale, folding the elbows, relax your fist, the complete yogic breath from the tail to the brain will lift the energy up. Your eyes may look up to your hands and observe your fingers. On the exhalation, folding them, relaxing. You may scoop it from the tail. So you might feel this organic need to move the body forward, up and backwards. To feel the lightness of the hips. Exhale, soften. Two more times. Breathing in. You can also hold and then wave at the top while performing the natural breath. Exhale, and this next time we're attaining just for four seconds. Breathing in, pull the core in. Mm. Yeah, like the zip. Two, one. All right. And then here, press her close and then just rub your bicep forward and back. And just swing the elbows in here. You might stretch the neck by looking you know, shoulder to shoulder. I'm just breathing easy as you do this. All right. You can also. Try to synchronize this with the kapal body. Each time the arms swing back, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, interlace the fingers and stretch them high, opening them wide. Mm, good. Now from here, hands to your four, uh, shoulders, and then alternate the eye gaze, looking right and left, left and right. You know, a few times, you know, like you're doing a bicep curl there. Mm. Okay, and from there, uh, open them like the diagonal, like the V-shape, and then try now to grip your fists, like you're holding actually a pair of dumbbells, squeezing your biceps as you curl them. And in front of you, uh, biceps. Okay, now from that, interlace the fingers again and stretch high. All right, open them. Go ahead, lift them. Holding the hands, and then like you're squeezing <laughs> a lemon between your palms, and then just apply a mild tension or even increase the intensity. And then here, shift your weight back. Notice how your biceps are. 
you're active and the shoulders are active. Not to mention you're sitting in the Sukhasana, so this essentially you know, awakens, strengthens, and energizes your core. Two, one. All right. Loosen them, lace them, and stretch them high again. All right. And the hands to the back. And then just allow your chest to lightly open up. Lift the heart, open the throat. And exhale out. <laughs> Great. So sustain the sarcasm, right? Circle around. We have two rounds. Huh? And reverse. Okay. Arms are lifting, reaching up. Left hand to the side. Yeah, you can even slide down there and then stretch your right side here. You can lighten your right hip. You can use your top leg to roll that calf under and stretch the side body already. And here you can look to your hand or even down the floor. If this is too intense, just place your hand there without the elbows you know, touching the ground and staying. There's benefit to holding the poses longer in here, allowing the body to weigh down to that bottom side and then rubbing that free side forward and back. And then lift up, inhaling, arms are lifting, right hand to the side, exhale up. Mm, yeah. You can look over that arm or even the fingertips yeah? and alternate between the bottom hand and the top hand and the, the armpit. Yeah. And you can even rub the throat around, or yes, the tongue. Mm, good. And lift up, inhale, energize the body up. This time we're twisting. Uh, right hand to your left knee, and then twist the body around. Uh, you can give your shoulders some circling around, and then here the neck turns. Yeah, and the eyes look, the corners. Okay, left arm open, inhaling, keeping your hand there, and like a twist and a side stretch at the same time. And then this one, and crossing the arm in front, yeah. and rub around in circles. Yeah. Looks simple externally because you're just sitting and flowing your extremities, but uh, you're benefiting. Yeah. In Many ways and levels here. So kasana energizes, keep changing circle, energizes the perineum, the pelvic floor, the core, the reproductive system, not to mention promotes the mobility and the flexibility and the strength of the joints of the legs. And since we're flowing the arms, we're working the upper back as well. Okay, keep the elbows together, lifting the arms like the eagle arms. And then you can lightly bow over your chest, yeah, like you're moving your shoulder blades forward, hollow the ribs in, yeah, like a gentle Udhyana Bandha. And then lift forward and up to a light extension. All right, and cross them. <laughs> Inhaling. Good. Hands to the back and stretch the chest open. You can lightly rub the neck from ear to ear, collarbone to collarbone, forward and back. All right, two more breaths here. And drop the jaw. You're releasing <laughs> this computer neck, the cell phone neck. All right, and then come back. Great. All right, and cross the legs. Yeah. And give them a light shake up in the air, yeah, like the joints of the animal swinging, kicking, yeah, and stretching like this. Huh? Okay, lift one leg up and then pose it, and it can even swing it and kick it up and down and change. Great. Okay, straighten those legs, your heels away from you. Exhale out, inhale, lift tall like the stick, 
exhale as you inhale reach for your toes if you can even let your hands fall past or any part of the leg you can even grab hold of the feet itself and then perform a strong grip yeah your Hashimotanasana. All right, inhale, open forward, up and back. Exhale out. Okay, the swinging legs, yeah. Right, and then the arms swinging and wrapping across. Okay, and back to the center. Cross the legs again. Now try to cross your weaker leg on top. Okay, you will feel different if it's the other leg crossing. And circle around. We're just repeating the sequence. Eh? Inhale, let's just circle around the front. And exhale. As you lift, lift up. And then just change. And then side to side. So you can even rock from yeah, hip to hip. In the process, you're stretching your knee and your feet and the ankles. And then lift up to the vertical again. Same flow. Exhale, fold the elbows. Inhale, stretch them up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale down. Reaching up, inhaling. And retain for four, three, two, one. Rise the breath up. Exhale. Out. All right, swing the biceps again. And this time, make it more active. And adding the breath, go. About 20, you do that. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, interlace the fingers and stretch them up. Open. You can alternate your gaze. The first, easy hands, easy wrists. Keeping your spine upright. And then perform the diagonal and start to close the fist already. And then try to strengthen your shoulders now. Yeah, like you're holding a pair of dumbbells there and in front of you. About 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can even yeah, go a little lower. Yeah. All right, interlace the fingers and stretch really high. Mm. Right, you can also circle around here. Bend and stretch, yeah. Right, hands together. And then lightly squeeze them. Yeah, add a little bit more pressure. Yeah, probably double the intensity. Yeah, breathing normally. The biceps, yeah, uh, not worked often in the practice of asana. So this one I find when I do this, <laughs> I feel like I've done like, yeah. A set of bicep curls with dumbbells yeah, and yeah, squeezing. Yeah, you can even lightly allow the squeeze to you know, result in a light vibration. And release. Yeah, feel like the neck and the shoulders are working. And then swinging forward and back. And this time, cross and open. Throwing those arms up and down. Every time you cross the chest, change arm. All right, and circle around. Great. All right. Arms are lifting. But this time around, yeah, left hand down. And then this right arm now shall cross against the left knee. Here it's like a twist. And at the same time, folding over that left hip. If this is intense, just place your chest, hover that chest over that leg. Or you can just do a mild one without the elbow falling. But if the ready is there, why not? Yeah, I find this like it um, helps me release. You can feel free to do a side stretch like this. You can rub the tongue from the cheek in the center and then cross that elbow. Mm, feels good, this one. Mm. 
because this is my teaching side. <laughs> and then I do this <laughs> sometimes, or even oftentimes I do the, the class same side because I walk around and this one feels so good like I'm decompressing. All right, from here, walk to the middle. Okay, crawl forward. Let me just adjust. Yeah, so the angle still fits in the camera. And then forward, and you can crawl side to side there. And then just folding the elbows easy. You're weighing down into your legs while breathing. And do this class in the morning, yeah, or any type of the day. Yeah, so kasana is beneficial, really. You can feel this sense of openness and lightness after the practice. And this bill is discipline. Yeah. Sitting cross legs is not easy. Yeah. Requires discipline and attention. And then since you're flowing, yeah, somehow you entertain the mind from <laughs> feeling the discomfort. All right, inhale, lift. Travel the arms, you can lighten your legs and then recross them. Okay. Left elbow or chest. Yeah, my inspiration for this one is the Bada Padmasana. Yeah. The Padmasana with the legs bound and then you're bending over one leg. So this is like the alternative. Okay. Uh, but still, this will require um, a level of flexibility and strength. Yeah? Always the option is just do halfway. Yeah? But try your best. Yeah? Somehow you need to progress. You can't always just be complaining that, oh, it's painful, it's <laughs> not comfortable. Yes. Probably sometimes we think about like pain. Pain is actually not actually pain. Probably discomfort is all right. Yeah. But pain is not good. Pain is when you feel this sharp um, pulling sensation, for example, in the hamstrings or your wrist. Yeah. But pressure, I think pressure is part of it. Like this. There's a pressure there. They can even move away from the pressure. Like you're having a deep tissue massage, yeah, especially the muscles here, the calf. Yes, yeah, since the other leg is pushing it down. Mm. All right. And then from there, walk to the middle. I know. I know. Yeah, just me adjust. Yeah. Reaching, 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 reaching. And oh, moving side to side. You can lightly lift your tail there so you can give your hips a light adjustment at the back and soften. Yeah. And even do this. Yeah. My inspiration is the Kukutasana, yeah, but not uh, the traditional one, like a variation. So um, students can still feel the benefit yeah. and rise. Right, sustain it, sustain it. Arms are lifting. Good. Exhale, inhale, lifting, reaching. Exhale. Don't drop the arms, just loosen the shoulders. Inhale, lifting. Exhaling. One more time, breathing in. Exhale out. <laughs> Great. All right. And cross the legs. Yeah, you may feel the need to rub the joints and then massage yeah, the intersections. Yeah, kicking and vibrating the legs up in the air. Great. And then straighten them. Push the heels away. Open up. Exhale. Inhale. Reach forward. And exhale. Easy down. Great. Yeah. How do you feel? And up you go. And release. Okay. So the finishing sequence is on our stomach. Now belly down. 
like like this great okay now crossing your arms or you can even just fold them let your head fall to one side and circle your hips around so this decompresses you know, the joints of the low back and the hips from cross legs and sitting for a, a period of time there it's not easy doing that so you've done good and then lift the leg lift the hip and then start to twist the lower back across and around in circles okay. and reverse okay now first throw that hip up and then circle around and throw the other one up okay <laughs> all right so once you find it yeah your body will just do it yeah all right it's natural Round in circle and then kick to the side. Around in circles and then lift the other one. Circle around. Left. One circle and one twist. Okay, one more per side. Mm, feels good, this one. Okay, and then just moving them side to side in circle and around. Great. Okay. All right, hands beside the chest and then just rub forward and then lightly push away. Mm. A back bend. And knees, hands reach forward, lifting your hips at home Mukashwanasana. And do alternate leg lift. Up and down, up and down. Mm, one of my favorite flows, lifting the leg in alternating motion and then kicking that leg a few times. It feels decompressing. Accessing it in the pingala there. And match in the middle. And cross forward. And sit once more. Good. I feel. Yeah. While doing it, you feel like, oh, I can't sustain it. It's difficult. Yeah. But after the flow, notice how the body is radiant, open, light. And the brain is relaxed and peaceful as well. Good. Let's finish. Inhale. Thank you for joining me in my practice session. I'm still lifting. And as teachers, I know, <laughs> even if you're teaching for decades already, and then your mind says, hey, I can do it, I can do it, I can teach spontaneously, but really, yeah. You have to feel it. Do the sequences yourself. When we write sequences, uh, it's so elaborate and it's so grand. Yeah, but when you do it, it's really very different. So feel it, do it yeah, to ensure that you're teaching safely and meaningfully. All right, hands together. But head and heart. Namaste, everyone. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.